Good afternoon, welcome to uh, Saturday uh, Yoga Flow. So we're going to come to a seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up, turn the palm up, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, right arm up, bring it across your chest, supported by the other hand, pull back. Shoulder stretch, bring some resistance here, looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, relief them first, place the palm behind your back and use the other hand about the elbow, tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. Shoulder, shoulder first. One more breath. I'm going to slowly release the arm up. We lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back and use the other hand to guide that the tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. Now we're going 
you are slowly release, shake it out, hands on the shoulders like upper lats, elbow in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Through the pinch of your shoulder blades, opening up the lung heart chest. When you're in the center position, go in a full circle. Try to bring the opposite. And reverse. Slowly come back to center to release, shake it out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend to the right side. The other arm up. Looking up, coming into a side bend. We're gonna do it a couple of times. Inhale, arms up, exhale. Bending your left arm, give you more room to come down, lengthening. Inhale, arms up, exhale. For your own pace and your own breath. Inhale, arms up, exhale to the other side. Reach and stretch. One last set. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale to the Inhale, arms up, lengthen, exhale to the exhale. Slowly coming back up, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Turn a little bit back, coming into your gentle twist. Inhale, arms up, exhale to the exhale. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Turn a little bit back. Couple more times. Inhale, arms up, exhale. See if you can turn a little bit more. Inhale, arms up, exhale to the left. Using the front hand to help you turn a little bit more. One last set. Inhale, arms up, exhale to the left. Inhale, arms up, exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back up. Thumb down by your side. Coming into your torso turn, so we're going to start with a small circle first. Gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as far, warming up the spine. One last round. When you're in the center position, go the other way, reverse. Slowly come back to center to release. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward, arms off the mat, shoulders relax, forehead down. Lengthening the, front, the spine here. One more breath. I'm going to slowly walk the hands over to one side, through the stretch in the side of your body. One more breath. I'm going to walk the hands over to the other side as far as you can go. Do a stretch in the side of your body. Slowly, slowly coming back to the center and walking the hands back. You're going to place the hand behind you. Lean backwards. Chin up, head back. Opening up the lung, heart, chest. If you like, can lift the hips up. One more breath. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Come to a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers, hands underneath the shoulders, knees slightly behind the hip. Carve off the feet on the mat, neutral spine, swing side to side. Getting ready for cat and cow. Inhale, draw your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round the back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times. Set your own pace in your own breath. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between one race. Warming up the spine. One last set. So 
So you come back to neutral spine, you're ready to obey figure eight. Stay the hip down onto the heels. Exaggerate the movement. When you're at the top of the mat, go to the opposite corner. Once again, we're creating spaces between vertebrates. When you're in your center position, go the other way. Reverse your big figure eight. Staying the hip down. And one last round. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Straight side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Coming into a bird dog. Right arm and left leg out. Right thumb to the sky. Back toes down. Four strong. Looking down. Once you're set up, bring the arms and leg out to 45 degree or slouch pose. And go flexing the back foot. Inhale, center. Exhale to open. One last one. Inhale, center. Exhale to open. Slowly coming back. Swing side to side here. Repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg out. We just stretch. Once you set up, bring down the leg out to 45 degrees. So as far as we go. Inhale, center. Exhale to open. One more. Inhale, center. Exhale to open. Slowly come back. Neutral spine, sway side to side. Getting ready to come up. So we're doing down dogs, but all your finger touch your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Walking it up, up. Pushing the mat away. Release the head down. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching out the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more side. Inhale up on toes. Exhale down. Inhale, come forward to high plank. Not sticking the bottom, not sagging. Exhale to down dog. One more time. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale to down dog. We're going to slowly walk backwards towards the feet. Now we're going to inhale forward bend. Then go here for a moment. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, go on to arms and elbows or behind the legs. Hip bones above ankle bones. Slightly bend the knees if needed, if you have tight hamstring. Lengthening the spine. Stretching our hamstring. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Gently shake yes with the head. Gently shake no. Your butt swaying side to side, hip movement. One more breath here. We're going to get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, to slowly, slowly come up to standing. Learn your breath pressure, get used to this. Once you come all the way up, back bend to counter. Interlace the thing behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and half up. Not pushing the hips forward. Feel the pitch your shoulder blades. Opening up the lumbar heart chest. Stimulating thyroid gland. One more breath and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Shake it up. Stepping the feet a little bit wider. We're going to inhale, up. Exhale, bend, twist and flex. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, arms up. Opposite hand, opposite ankle. Wide in your set if necessary. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite ankle. Inhale, arms up. I'm going to swing it through this toe. So I'm going to stay here. And so I'm not, if you can, if not, hold on to your legs. Just be mindful that the head is below heart. So if you don't feel good, we need to slowly come out of it. One more breath. I'm going to slowly, slowly come up to standing. So we're going to repeat this three move for a few times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend towards the right side. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, arms up. Opposite hand, opposite hand. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Take your time to come up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, way and down the right side. Inhale, arms up. Lengthen. Exhale to the left. Inhale, arms up. Opposite hand, opposite hand. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, arms up, lengthen, and then we're going to do forward bend. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. Hands in the center of the mat. If you have tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knees. Couple more breaths here. And we're going to get ready to come up. So hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly come up to standing. Let your blood pressure get used to this. And then we're going to go here to go here to to bring the legs together. Shake it up. Getting ready for cardio, sun salutation. So palm of the mat, big toes detach. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of the mat. So listen to your body always. Inhale, arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back, hands on chin, eyes are forward. Exhale, hands on mat, step the right leg back and then the left one. Shifting the way forward to plank. Beginners can drop to the knees, tuck your elbow by your side, and then inhale, cool, bow up, down. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift the hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog, pushing the mat away. Staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Meta or index finger facing forward. Separate your feet, two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees. Eyes are located, your toes, knees, or belly button. Coming into low lunge on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. So if you need knee support, use your knee pad, towels or cushion to support the knee. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle, square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Engage your arms, shoulders relax, eyes open up. One more breath here, and we're gonna have left arm forward, right arm back. Stabilize yourself, turn a little bit back. One more breath here, we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Left hand down, right arm up, bridge and stretch. Looking up. One more breath, and we're slowly, slowly coming back up. Inhale, arms up, palm touch, release the index when you grow tall. Exhale to sit. Slide back, bend here, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. Slightly bend back, bend if you can. Slowly, slowly release. Getting ready for the Twist. We're going to turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the other side of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn a little bit of top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Those who can come up on the mat toes, lift the heel high, high up. If you want to open up the arms for more resistance, go ahead. Inhale, one more breath, we're going to slowly release, hands on mat, heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Coming into a little dragon, so if you're comfortable, come on the baby toes on your foot, rocking forward, backwards, 
side to side to open up the right hip more. Those who can come down to the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead, more intensive stretch. So listen to your body always. One more breath here. We're gonna slowly, slowly release. Coming into a twisted dragon. So we're gonna bend into the back leg. Right arm up. You can either wrap around your waist or wrap up, 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 up the back foot. So coming into a twist here. Now, if this is too much for you, don't worry about it. You can wrap the top arm around your waist. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Here we go, here we go, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. You can either sit on your heel or come sit down. Point the right toes up to the seat. Inhale, up, up, up. We lengthen first. Exhale, in forward, leading with the chest. Holding arm to any part of the left foot or toe. Chase away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. Lengthening the spine, stretching out all back muscles. Right hamstring and left ankle joint if you're sitting on the ankle. If you cannot sit on the ankle, just sit down. One more breath here. We're going to slowly release. Make your way to the top of the mat. Hands on mat. Up the left toes and step the right leg back. Now we come forward to plank. Chaturanga is all one breath. Inhale. Cool burrow up dog. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up. Lifting the hips high, high up. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Now we'll repeat everything on the left side. So left foot forward towards the left hand. Right knee on the mat. Swing the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Engage your arms. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Front knee still 90 degree on top of the ankle. One more breath here and open up the arms. Right arm forward. Just gonna curve this down a little bit. That makes it easier for you to look at. Turn a little bit back. One more breath here, slowly release. Right hand down, left arm up. Reach and stretch. Open up the head, looking up at the top thumb. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly coming back up. Coming into the twist, turn body to the left side, right elbow on the outside of the thigh. And same prayer, press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thighs. And if you want to come up on the back toes, lift the heel high, high up. If you want to open up the arms for more resistance, go ahead. Any variation you like to charge yourself. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Oh, we should do the dragon. So we're going to walk the left foot up to the edge of the mat. Come on, the baby to the side. So you can come on your forearm. Your forearm is too much. Stay on the head level. So the more advanced student or more experienced student, you can come out down with your forearms and up on the back toes. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side. Opening up the left hip more. Once again, if this is too much, listen to your body always to avoid injury. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. And we're going to get ready for the twist. So we'll bend into the back leg. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Now, if you can do this, just wrap the top arm around your waist. Don't worry about the back foot. Coming into a twisted dragon. Mm -hmm. 
One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Here we go, here we go. Walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. Make your way to the back of the mat. Four. And string stretch. You can either sit on your heel or come sit down. Point your left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up, lengthen the thrust. Exhale, hinge, leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of the foot or toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Neck and spine is one straight line. Working with your breath always in yoga. One more breath here. We're going to slowly release. So we'll do a flow. Make your way to the top of the mat. Hands on mat. Tuck the right toes and set the left leg back. Now coming forward to plank. Lower down. Elbows lower than the shoulders. In. Cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up. Lifting the hips high higher. Walking it up out. Release the head down. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize impact on the wrist. Come into pigeon legs. Left foot down, right leg up. Three leg to split. We're going to bend into the back leg. Look underneath the right arm in fortress. And sway the back leg all the way to the top of the mat. Right knee to right wrist, flex the foot, slide the back leg down. Square the hip to the front. Slowly come down. Forehead on, stack hands, stack fist. Come all the way down. If you have long, you can rest your forehead on the ground, three different heights. You can wiggle side to side here. If you come lopsided, you're not going to feel anything, so try to pop yourself back to the center. Both hips are level in this one. If you still find that this is challenging, lie down on your back, going into a figure four. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. And we're going to repeat on the other side. So we're going to tuck the back foot and stretch the right foot back. Walking it out, uh, release any tension you may have. Pigeon on the other side, so right foot down, left leg up, three leg this split, bending into the back leg, look underneath the left armpit foot, and swing the back leg all the way to the top of the mat. Slide the back leg up, back leg straight, and it's in the center. Square the hip to the front. Slowly come down. Forehead on, step hands, step fist, or come all the way down. You can continue to wave side to side. The stretch is here. Coming up on the back toes if you like. Walking forward back to side to side. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Pushing yourself back up. Tuck the right toes and start the left leg back. Reach your down dog. Walking it up out to release any tension you may have. Now we're going to slowly transition to come lie down on your stomach. So come down your knees first. Lie down your stomach. Set yourself up. Forehead down. When you press on the top of the feet, kneecaps come up. Hands by your chest. Lifting the hand chest up. Hands up. Looking down to protect your neck. Staying here for five, three, two, one. Slowly and gently release something down. Extend your arms forward, coming into a superman. Forehead down, kneecaps up. Lifting the hand, chest up, arms off, leg and thigh off. Reach into opposite direction. And we're going to go swimming for five. Four, three, two, one. Slowly release everything down. 
Inhale to lift the head, chest up, opposite arm, opposite leg. Doesn't matter which one you go first. Lateral stretch. Slowly release the other side. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Reach and stretch. Lateral. And we'll do one more time. Release the other arm in front. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Slowly release. One last one. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Reach and stretch. And slowly release everything. Second hand, on top of each other. Bend both knees. Windshield wiper. Feel the slight movement in your lower back. Your butt swing side to side. Loosen up. So hopefully all these poses lying down on your stomach will help you to strengthen lower back muscles to support the spine, especially if you have back pain. Grab a hold one ankle, both ankle. If you can only do one ankle at a time, extend the opposite arm out. If you can grab a hold both ankles, go ahead. Don't open up the thigh too much. Take the feet into your hands. Bottom of your feet towards the sky. If you want to rock, rock forward, backwards, side to side. Massage your internal organs. If you just had a big lunch and if you don't want to rock, that's okay too. And we're going to slowly come back to center. Two, release. Coming into a seal, legs apart. Spread all your fingers. Elbows will be shoulder swing. Shoulders relax. Eyes looking forward. Now you can stay here if you like to push yourself all the way up. More intensity here. If this is too much for you, please go back down your forearms. Stay here for five, four, three, two. One, slowly and gently release everything down. Once you've come all the way down, we'll bring the legs together again and we're going to wiggle the back side to side. Loosen up. One more breath and we're going to come out of this. We're going to meet you in. A child pose. Knees apart, big toes to touch. Sing the hip down onto the heels. Walking the fingers forward, arms off the mat. If you like, you have it on your fingertips. If you find that your ankle and your hips are too tight, rest your forehead on stack face or stack hands or on your block. So that was saying the hip further back. We're lengthening the spine. Stretching our lower back muscles, opening up the hip joint, ankle joint, massaging internal organs, calming the mind for a moment. <laughs> One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly walk you back to center. And we'll come to see it. So have a sip of water and read it. Bring the sole of your feet together. Grab your hands around the ankle, sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to rock side to side. Finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, open up your joint. Come into a forward bend, draw the heel close to you. 
Grab a hold of the big toe or the entire feet, thumb on the big toe in. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hinge, leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Every time you come down, get a little bit lower. Lengthening the spine, stretching out lower back muscles. Opening up your joint. You can feel a little bit of discomfort in your inner thighs. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Bring the knees together, wrap your arms around your knees. Make yourself small. Inhale, chin up, head back. Exhale, chin to chest. We'll do it a few times. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, down. Both ways we're stimulating thigh regular. Release tension at the back of your neck. Decompressing the spine, giving more spaces between C2 and C7. Slowly, slowly coming up. You're going to reach your wiper, open up the knees, hands behind you, fingers the same way as the feet. Raise your wiper, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come off. Now I'm going to open up and drop both knee to the right side. Now don't lean back too much. Sitting up tall, butt stay down. You should be able to stretch here. Put your separate joints. Look at the opposite side. One more breath. And we're slowly coming back to center, getting ready to come up. So we're going to align the wrist with the shoulder. Use your strong core and your thighs to lift yourself up. One more breath here. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. And we're going to repeat on the other side. So we're going to open up and drop the knees to the other side. Let it fall wherever it's fall. Don't lean back too much. You should be able to stretch here. Or just up your joints. Look at the opposite side. Take a couple of breaths here. One more breath. And we're going to slowly release. We're going to get ready to come up. So align your wrist with the shoulder. Use your strong core and your thighs to lift this up. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back down. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Come to a wide leg. So open up your legs in the feet. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Feel free to use the length of your mat. Coming to forward bear. So we're going to inhale, arms up later. Exhale, hinge forward. Lady on the chest. Bend the elbows. Give you more room to come down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, keep hinging forward. Now we're not dropping the head down. If we come down, the entire unit has to come down. Giving your neck and your spine in one straight line. So we're going to inhale, lengthen, exhale, keep rolling your hip forward. Come forward. Opening up the hip joint. Stretching our hamstrings. Lengthening the spine. Stretching our lower back muscles. One more breath. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to reach for the right toes. If you cannot touch, go on to any part of the legs. So really stands. Bend the elbow. Come into a side bend. The other arm up. Reach and stretch. After we lengthen, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Shine the chest up to the ceiling, looking up. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open, looking up. One more breath. We're going 
and slowly coming back up. We're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, arms up, lift them. Exhale, turn to the right hip, shift forward, holding on to any other of the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, something down a little bit more. Continue to lengthen spine, stretching our lower back muscles. And string, a little bit on the hip joint. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. And I'm going to try this. I'm going to have my knee pad underneath my foot there. And I'm just going to bounce it. Make sure you land on the cap, not your ankle, because that hurts. So bounce it out a few times. Feel how tight this is? Watch yourself. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Go back to my leg. If my leg is difficult, bend the leg that you're not using. So we're going to come to the side bend first. Grab all the big toes and ankle on the legs. Or release the hands. Bending the elbows. We're going to come down. Reach and stretch first. After you lengthen, we're going to slowly bring the top arm over. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Okay. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open, looking up. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. You can do a forward bend on this leg, so we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, arms up, lengthen, exhale, finish. Prolong and holding on to any part of the front toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Putting your neck and your spine in one straight line. Every time you come down, bring your stomach a little bit closer. One more breath here. Yeah, we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to find this leg, so I'm going to use my knee pad for support. So feel free to place a towel or cushion underneath. Make sure it's the cap. That lands, not the ankle. Feel how tight it is. And slowly release, straighten up the legs, bounce it a few times. We'll come to double leg, so we're going to sit up tall. Take in a couple more breaths here, and we're going to come forward. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Breathe with the chest. Grow longer. Placing your hands with you beyond your feet. Holding on to any part of the foot at all. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Coming to one leg forward, bend. My left is your right. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, hinge. Grow longer. Holding on to inhale, the lift from the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Lengthening the spine. Stretching our lower back muscles. Stretching our hamstring. A little bit on the hip joint. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back. You can see the twist plane depending on the outside of the straight Now, beginning, you can stay here. Those who can bend along it, go ahead. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Sit up tall. Left arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Or wrap around your waist. Keep turning over the pin your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. 
Take a couple of breaths here, relax. For every breath, see if you can turn a little bit more. One more breath here, we're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Again, hand to twist, bending the arms, giving more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back, oblique the side of your body. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Straighten up the legs. Bounce a few times. And we're going to keep on the other side. One leg forward. And set yourself up. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up, lengthen, exhale. Now we're going to come forward from the hip joint, leaning with the chest. Grow longer. Body start right there on top of the straight leg. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Stomach come down first. Chest, head is the last thing to come down. Working with your breath to get into the alignment. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly curve back up. Come in to see the twist. So bring the back on the outside of the string. And you can stay here if you like and bend the bottom leg. Both us down, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Sit up tall. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine or wrap around your waist. Any variation you like. Stop side hand. Pray your hands. Spread the front hand through the tunnel. Creating resistance here. Open up to your shoulder. Look in the back. Turning the neck and swan. Massaging internal organs. Helping you to digest and detox. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, give you more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back, oblique in the front foot is on the mat. So you know that's the direction you're going to. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back. Straighten out the legs, bounce them a few times. And slowly transition. Now we're going to go and do a reverse tabletop. Legs are hip width, hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. Use your strong core and your thigh to lift your hips up, coming into a tabletop. If your neck is good, chin on head back. Now, just be mindful of anybody who has any wrist or shoulder issues. Staying here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly and gently release everything down. Once you come all the way down, we're going to do a few wrist rotation here. Release any tension you may have. Over the other way. Forward, backwards. Shake it up. Change leg up. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to transition to lie down on our back for reclining poses. So take your time to lie down. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release. Keeping the natural curve in your lower back. Chin to chest. Close your eyes for a moment, let your body get used to life on its back. We're going to go into a figure four, so keep your knees bent. Right ankle on left thigh, flex the foot. Push the right thigh out. Look your hand through the opening, grab behind the left thigh, right elbow, push the right thigh out. 
Draw it close to your body. Now you can stay here if you like and love the head chest. I'm head to me. Feel the stretch here. It's the same stretch as the pigeon. So this is the modification to pigeon. And make sure you're not coming up with your neck muscles. Slowly release the head down, switch side, left hand to go, right thigh, flex the foot, float the hand through this opening, grab behind the right thigh, left elbow, push the left thigh up, left in the hand, chest up, head to knee, squeeze. So figure four is that to help people with sciatica condition. So if you have that condition, you can let me know whether it works or not. And slowly release the head down. And release. Way go side to side here. Windshield wiper. Now we're going to set ourselves up for the bridge pose. So walk the heel, close your fingertips. Knees are two fists apart, really equivalent to the width of the block. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, lift the hips higher, forming a bridge. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. All the weights in the shoulder, right with our weights in the head or neck. Squeeze your abs in tight, your quadricep and your glutes are firm. In another word, squeeze your stomach in tight, your thighs and your butt are firm. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. Now we're going to come up on our tippy toes, so lift them in here even higher up. Chain is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland as well. Staying up here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release the heel back down. One more bit of time, release the spine back down. And we're going to raise your light for again. Let it fall wherever it falls. Open up and let them both drop to the right side. Make sure the left butt stay down. You can stay here, more intensity, right foot on left thigh, dragging it a little bit closer to the mat. One more breath here, we're gonna slowly release, take an aim on the center, exhale, drop both knee to the left side. Let it fall, wherever it fall. Walking the right foot outside the mat, if this is accessible. Right hand on right ankle, make sure the right butt stay down, left foot on right thigh, dragging it a little bit closer. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Coming into wind, releasing on the right side. We wrap your arms around the right. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale to relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the right side as well as ascending core. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint. And reverse. Slowly come back to center, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, lifting the left leg off the mat. If you can grab a hold of the foot, go ahead. More intensity here. One more breath, I'm going to slowly release the head and straight leg. Coming into the spinal twist, right foot on left thigh. Using the left hand, gently guide the top knee as close or far as possible. Bring the right arm out, shoulder height. Palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. 
If your neck is good, turn to look at the right side. Stretch, strengthen and hold the low back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Strain out the legs, bounce it a few times. And repeat on the other side. Grab your arms around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the left side as well as descending. Lifting the hand chest up, head to knee. Lifting the right leg off the mat. If you may grab a hold of foot, go ahead. Slowly release the head and the straight leg. And now we come to a spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh. Using the right hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left arm out, shoulder height. Palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. Over our breaks, our breath, try to bring the top knee a little bit closer to the floor. Stretching our lower back muscles. Creating spaces between our four and our five. Helping you to be back. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten up the legs, stand a few times. Then both knees, grab your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like, covering a big area. And reverse. Slowly come back to center, lifting the hand chest up, head to knees, please. Make yourself small. If you can grab all the feet, go ahead. Massaging each other on this. Slowly release the head down, lift your feet up to the sky, coming into a happy baby. Open up the knees, place your hand on the bottom of your feet, press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine and tire back, opening up hip joints. Slowly come back to center, bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the feet. Draw it close to your body. Coming into a reclining cobbler pose. Slowly, slowly release. Strain on the legs. Bounce a few times. Now we're going to go into the fish pose. So we're going to slide the hand underneath your butt, thumb to touch. Point your toes. Come up on your forearms. Lift the chest up. If you're comfortable, you can drop the head back. Fish pose, open up the lung, heart, chest. Helping people with breathing related issues like asthma. Take a couple more breaths here. One more breath and to come out of it. We're going to come up on the forearms. 
and slowly release the upper body down. Slide the hand back out from underneath your back. I'm going to go to the bound angle. Place the sole of your feet together. Let the knee for out to form a diamond shape. Release the spine down. Keeping a natural curve in your lower back. Arm down by your side. Palm facing down. Close your eyes. Slowing down the heart beat. Let gravity does its job to open up the hip joint. Now we're slowly bring both knees together, drop them to the right side. Raise your right arm, roll over to the right side. Coming into a seated position. Taking a couple of breaths here. When you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. Stretching of the neck next, gear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to rise upon the head, lengthening, stretch, slowly release, go over to the other side, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to rise upon the head, lengthening, stretch, slowly, slowly turn back to center, coming into the next circle. Either full circle or half circle. Nice and slow. If there's any stiffness in your neck, you stay there for a little bit longer. When you're in the center position, go the other way, reverse. Now shoulders up to your heels, make it high, high, high. Slide it out to your knees again. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, let it go. One more. Inhale, shoulders up. Let it go. Big, big hug. Love yourself. Place the fingers on your shoulder blade. Thank you for staying here. You can lock out the square ball of the thumb. Coming into an eagle arm. Lifting up the southern way from the body, forming an L shape. Feel the tightness in your shoulder blades. And release the other side. Big, big up, lock yourself. You can stay here if you like to lock the elbows, grab over the thumb. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, forming an L shape. Slowly release, shake it out, interlace the finger, gently place it behind your head. Pull forward, release tension at the back of your neck. Slowly, slowly curve back to center, shake it out, bring your hands to heart center. So once again, thank you very much for watching, sharing your energy with all of us and let them be guided through this practice. Always no question, I'll say. So let me know if you have any comments or feedback or want me to go over anything. So tomorrow is going to be uh, 2 p.m. as well. I, I stopped taping this session because Zoom told me that I have reached the, um, my uh, limit, which is just one gigabyte. So, um, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to tape uh, unless I clear up. So what I can do is I can delete some of the older uh, recording.
or let me know if it is necessary to take at all. All right. Okay, so have a good afternoon. It's nice and bright outside. So enjoy the rest of the day and tomorrow is going to be 2 p.m. All right, goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, Katie.